new revelations about the armed uprising by the Wagner Group in Russia. The Moscow Times is reporting that the deputy chief of staff of Russia's armed forces has been arrested. The paper says General Sergei Surovikin is being held on suspicion of being involved in Yevgeny Prigozhin's rebellion. The New York Times has also claimed that a senior Russian general had advanced knowledge of Prigozhin's plans. The Kremlin denies the allegations and maintains military commanders are united behind President Vladimir Putin. And for more on this, we can now bring NDW's Russia analyst, Konstantin Egert, who's following all of this from the Lithuanian capital, Vilnius. Konstantin, Russian media, they're reporting that Surovikin has been arrested. How credible is this information? Well, I think, Nicole, this has been uh, more or less now confirmed by very respectable media, although initial signals came from uh, different sorts of telegram channels. Uh, also, there are suspicions that... Uh, Mr. Surovikin's deputy uh, is also arrested. And uh, if it is and did so, we, we will know it quite soon because you cannot basically hide uh, the arrest of uh, uh, deputy commander of the operation in Ukraine, commander of the Russian airspace forces, hero of Russia, and uh, I have to add someone who earned this, earned this sobriquet uh, the butcher of Syria, Surovikin, was very, very instrumental in helping Putin prop up the Assad regime in Syria. Yeah, give us some more context. Who is Surovikin and why did he appear to become a threat to Vladimir Putin now? Well, Surovikin was commander of the operation in Ukraine uh, until January this year. Then he was replaced, but uh, kept a position of uh, deputy commander. He also still officially commands Russian aerospace forces. And uh, he's one of the top generals in Russia, mm, has his own following, and evidently uh, could have set his sights easily on the post of uh, chief of general staff or even defense minister. Uh, that was kind of his level, if you wish. Uh, Surovikin appeared suddenly uh, during uh, Prigozhin's uprising uh, on Saturday uh, in a video posted on one of the Telegram channels, visibly distressed, well, visibly, I would say, I would suspect that he was a bit inebriated, and uh, in a very unconvincing uh, language, he tried to uh, tell the Wagner mercenaries to stand down. He looked frightened, and to me, as to quite a few intelligence analysts I spoke to here in Vilnius, it looked a bit like a hostage video. Then he disappeared from sight, although one has to say it's his air force that actually strafed, that bombarded the Wagner mercenaries. Then suddenly we hear that he has been arrested, and according to uh, the uh, reports we've seen in the Wall Street Journal and New York Times, uh, Surovikin was in the know about uh, Prigozhin's mutiny. Now it is, if it is so indeed, then it seems if he is arrested, uh, then, I mean, we, 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 it seems like uh, he was a part of this uh, plot and he probably counted on something as a result of Prigozhin uh, mutineering. Mm -hmm. Are we witnessing the beginning of Putin cleaning house after this unprecedented challenge to his rule over the weekend? Oh, oh yes, very much so. This is very, very, very sort of traditional. It's, it's a classic dictatorship in the wake uh, uh, of a putsch. Uh, Putin will now be arresting everyone left, right and center just to prove that he's quote unquote strong. Whether it will bring any results or whether it will actually spook uh, the remainder of the regime even more and maybe propel some other people into action, that remains to be seen. Uh, but um, what we've seen is completely unprecedented, uh, I would say, since um, maybe uh, the mid-50s when um, Marshal Zhukov, the victor in the Second World War, sided with uh, part of the Politburo to try and replace the then leader, uh, Nikita Khrushchev. But we are talking about 1957, nothing like that since then, uh, an unprecedented uh, involvement of the army in Russian politics at the time of war. So in in certain way, I would say, Nicole, this is historic and may become even more historic as we speak now. And as all of this was unfolding, we saw footage of Vladimir Putin surrounded by a crowd in Dagestan taking selfies, hugging his supporters. That's quite unusual for him, isn't it? 
Oh, yes. And I think that shows the degree of, uh, of fear that he experienced. Because Putin, as we know, doesn't like masses. He doesn't like going to the people. And if he goes uh, to meet the people, it's always very, very well choreographed. We have hundreds of security people uh, dressed in civilians, in, in, in civvies. Uh, I think that if he flew to Dagestan now, they didn't have the time to prepare it really well. So Putin even uh, is risking actually talking to his own people now. That is to show that he's in control. That is to show that he is still, pardon the pun, a man of the people. And that testifies to the fact that he's really, really scared by what happened. It was not a theater play. It was a real, real rebellion. That's DW's Russia analyst Konstantin Egert from Vilnius. Thank you. Always great speaking to you. Thank you.